I reached out to Gina a million times, but writers, you know, <laughs> the greater the writer is, I think, the more reclusive they are. And I really honor Thank that, you. you know, and, um, you know, they, they just don't want to present their, themselves and their yeah. ego, you know, out. it's the, the writing, it's the power of the writing, the words. So I try to present Gina's script and the words. That's, that's, I think, the beauty and the power of it. That's, that is he did. Know, an, an he was honor like, for me to Come, work. Let, let me put you on video. You know, <laughs> let me ask, because he interviewed how many people, like 500 of those, those little videos, you know, of strangers on the street. And I was like, you know, Raphael, this video of, of the, the quilt of all these people, that's your thing. That's your vision, your voice, your decision. That's not me, you know? Because I have, we probably, we haven't gotten into a long dialogue about it, but I'm not one of these people that believes that you should forgive everything. You know, I, I don't, you know, what Samuel goes through is re for him, he has to forgive in order to release the hatred. I believe that you can hold, hold the anger and not be hateful and not forgive, you know, and use it in a powerful way, but my character doesn't. And I didn't feel that, I felt that was his thing. And, you know, I, I just, um, I don't know. I, I, I did this because I thought it was so um, wonderful that you responded to Raphael and um, that I wanted to support him here, you know, and I loved your, your show and I just thought, yeah, we're all kind of the same, you know, we're all like trying. And um, yeah, and actually, you know, the, the, this whole theme of forgiveness is that, I mean, I, I tried to, I, part of the reason I went out to the streets is to learn what it is, because when you really start thinking about it, I mean, I don't know if people really think what forgiveness really is, they, you know, although we'd have to deal with it every day in our lives, you realize that it's a very complicated thing and it's the, the, probably the most complicated thing for, for all of us, you know. And, you know, and the answers we got are so complex. And in the end, I think what I learned is that there is no answer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. There wasn't a common you know? answer. And I, and I think, well, I mean, there's, there's always... a new age There's, there's always, oh, like, the positive you know, answer. Yeah, that, you know, but that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> let's forgive and everything will be peaceful. But the reality is that it's, it's a process. It's a very difficult thing. And it's, it's complicated. And, you know, sometimes we... You know, people try to forget so they can forgive, but they really haven't forgiven or they try to do it symbolically. You know, generally everyone kept on telling us that it's a healing thing and we all know that, that it's, it's very, you can't carry this pain, you know, that these characters are carrying, that we're all carrying. But in the, the, so part of the process of making this video was just to go out and just to hear a million opinions, you know. And I feel as a filmmaker, it's not my duty to preach or say what it is. It's just to throw things out and, it, and let people discuss, think, just like the script, you know, let people find their own answers within the script, their own personal way of finding it, and maybe the world will it as well. So when I did this whole presentation, I wasn't going to be in it at all, in fact. I, was, I didn't want to be in this video. No? I mean, I did this little... This interview, that's part, the, I mean, the, what I talk in the video was just something that I shot like in 20 minutes one day, one morning, when I just felt I got to say something about it. But the original Kickstarter video was just everyone talking about the themes of the movie, the drawings and the actors. And then, I, and then we, said, we decided that we're going to do like a sister documentary to help to drive the social media, to drive interest in the script. And Kickstarter, in the last minute, as we submitted the project, they said, you know, you can't pitch two projects at once. You have to decide, are you going to do just the documentary, that's your research for the movie, and then do the movie, or are you just going to do the movie? And, it, and the whole reason why we started this was for, to make the movie. So I, then I said, okay, well, we're just going to do the campaign for the movie. And then I had to redo the whole video in the last minute. So in the end, I got stuck with being the presenter. <laughs> you know, so I'm in the video, you know, like it or not. You know, and I feel embarrassed about it, and I, no, no, I, I don't feel comfortable shouldn't. showing myself. You know. Oh, I think it's very oh. important. It's very, yeah, and you're good at it. <laughs> Have you received feedback that they're glad that you're in it? That it really helps um, that one it clarifies. person... clarifies. 
and and we know who we're donating money to. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and who you are, we see you, maybe we'll become then familiar with certain things. We'll, we'll try to look up your other projects as I did this morning and I'd like to see your films now. Yeah, so well, hopefully, hopefully people see? don't, I want to scare people away. No, no. You know, I think also Kickstarter is such a young thing, you know, everyone is so like hip, hip and cool. In fact, I'm even guilty of it myself, you know, that I've supported a lot of Kickstarter projects and there were a couple where they had such wonderful, charismatic and beautiful people just presenting their projects they just, I just my heart just opened I just gave them money I didn't mm -hmm. even want to I didn't even want to find out what their project was mm -hmm. about I just loved them you know so it's very awkward you know for us you know who are more seasoned you know filmmakers to and you know and I hope Kickstarter won't be limiting that it's a youth thing you know they help people there's a lot of older people who have loved to make things and have things that they would love to share with the world but never got the chance to. And maybe it'll be their opportunity also. Uh, so it's not only a chance for young people to get their beginning, but a lot of a chance for some people who struggled all, all their lives to do mm -hmm. something, never got the chance. And maybe now, if the young people can embrace them, you know, they'll get a chance too.